Hello again and welcome to this point 737 video tutorials in this uh, video we'll go over another maneuver that you'll be doing in your simulator training which is the upset recovery one thing I would like to highlight here before we start is uh, whatever mentioned in this video is just for your use in your simulator training only. in the simulator you'll have either uh, two scenarios to uh, encounter an upset the first one is following a TCAS array in which after you clear the uh, traffic then you'll encounter the wake turbulence from the airplane you just cleared and then the simulator will start shaking violently and then it will settle on either a nose high or a nose low unusual attitude the uh, second scenario is the instructor will ask you to close your eyes and then he will manipulate the flight controls I will say recover and then you need to open your eyes and recover so we'll start now with the simulation with the nose high uh, unusual attitude Okay, so let's assume that this is the uh, unusual attitude that you are in. As you can see, it's a nose high with a turn. And for the uh, both uh, upsets recovery, you need to dis the first thing that you need to do is disengage the autopilot and auto throttle. And then for the uh, nose high, it's better to continue the turn. And if the airplane is on wings level, then uh, it's a good idea to turn either to the left or to the right. And that will help you to get the uh, nose of the airplane to pitch down. You need to pitch down as well and as far as the uh, power goes it's a good idea to go halfway on the uh, thrust levers if it was at idle then advance it to halfway if it is at full power then you need to reduce it and that will also help you to uh, reduce the uh, the pitch attitude if you go full power it's going to be hard for you to uh, pitch down so halfway is a good starting point and we'll do that now so you'll do all the actions together of course so Continue the turn and pitch down and go halfway on the thrust levers. And then at the 5 degrees pitch up, go wings level, take a look at the speed and adjust the power as needed. Now the speed here is very low because um, I was not doing all the steps together. But in the simulator if you are quick enough uh, then the, your speed will not drop uh, this much. So at 5 degrees pitch up, go ahead, go wings level, adjust your pitch attitude. Take a look at the speed, and as you can see it is increasing. But go ahead and add more power. And get the airplane under control, trim it. If you need to add more power, then go ahead and add more power. And once you have the airplane under control, almost trimmed, then re-engage the automation. And one good technique to, uh, for the automation engagement is uh, to start from left to right. And you want to first get the speed under control and that is slightly at or above up speed as a start. Trim the airplane and re-engage the automation. So as I said, it's a good technique to start from left to right with the automation engagement. So go auto throttle on and then verify that the heading select is selected and you can go level change as well. Command. And then verify that you have all the uh, flight mode annotation here boxes are all filled. As you can see, uh, the pitch mode here is empty. So you can just go, go back and select level change or so. So we have retard, heading select, MCB speed, and command is engaged. And that is a very good technique to, uh, to utilize throughout your uh, training in the simulator whenever you want to engage automation. is to start from left to right. And then verify that you have the three modes indicated in the uh, FMA here. And command is uh, announced as well. Or indicated rather. The only time that... Uh, this uh, thrust mode here is going to be uh, blank is whenever you have a single engine since you will not be doing the uh, you'll not be using the auto throttles but other than that the FMA all of them should have something in them whenever you engage automation in the uh, simulator so that is it for the uh, nose high and now let's simulate uh, nose uh, low unusual attitude bank angle Bank angle. Okay, so let's assume we recover from something like this. As you can see, we are going down. 
at 30 degrees bit down which is too much and you can as you can see the speed is increasing very fast so for the nozzle it's the same thing again you disengage the autopilot auto throttle and unlike the uh, nose high for the nose low you go wings level power to idle so if it is halfway or so you go to idle and then you start pitching up to uh, 5 degrees pitch up uh, the uh, speed brake can be used as mentioned in the QRH however so far I haven't had the need to use it in all the uh, upset recoveries that I have uh, been doing so far demonstrate now the recovery so you go wings level and start pitching up and as far as the power you go idle power and pitch to 5 degrees pitch up is a good starting point and let the speed uh, bleed before you add any power so you want to maintain the 5 degrees bit up or so and as you reach the 250 then a good starting point again with the thrust levers is to go halfway or the vertical position trim the airplane get it under control and then you can re-engage again the automation from uh, left to right so auto throttle on, level change, heading select is already selected and then command for some reason PMDG here uh, disengages the uh, pitch mode every time so we can just press again level change so we have N1 heading select MCB speed command and that is the end of the recovery for the nose low so remember for the nose high you want to turn or continue the turn, pitch down, power halfway, 5 degrees pitch up, wings level, and then adjust power as needed, trim the airplane, once everything under control, re-engage automation. For the nose low, if you are in a turn, you want to go wings level, pitch up, and thrust to idle. 5 degrees pitch up, let the uh, speed uh, decreases. When it is around 250 or so then go ahead and go halfway on the thrust levers and then verify the speed whether it is good you want to go more on the power or less it's up to you trim the airplane once everything under control re-engage automation as always from left to right that's a good technique and verify that uh, you have something mentioned here in the fma modes and command is shown and that's it for the uh, recovery procedure for both the uh, nose high and the nose low. You can use the speed brake as mentioned in the QRH for a nose low to control the speed. Uh, but remember that you need to retract the speed brake once uh, you have the airplane under control. Uh, this is only for your uh, simulator use uh, training only. And as always, uh, I wish that you have some benefit from this video. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please let me know. And as always, this is Abdul Matai Siri. Wish you a safe flying and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.